This is One on One. Dr. Dwight Smith is Vice President for Academic Affairs at County College of Morris, and his colleague is uh, Dr. Richard Novak, Vice President for Continuing Studies and Distance Education at Rutgers University. Good to see you guys. Good, Good to see you. You. Um, you guys have this partnership right, Correct. between County College of Morris right. and Rutgers. Right. Describe it because it's fascinating right. and it helps students who come out of County College of Morris go to right. Rutgers. Correct. Right. Right. How? Well, it started last fall where students can complete their coursework for associate's degree. That's and then a two-year degree. Two-year degree. And after that, they can continue their uh, baccalaureate studies at the County College of Morris, taking courses from Rutgers faculty so that they stay at the campus. That's that, and now you do this, Rutgers does this at several community colleges. This is correct. This is, this is our fifth. The County College of Morris was our fifth partnership where we're actually on the community college campus and we are in the process of working on a sixth arrangement. Um, serves the students uh, really well, provides access and makes it a much more affordable model for higher education in New Jersey. Who are these students? Uh, for us, they're students primarily from Morris County. We do have students from other counties. There's students primarily in the liberal arts, psychology, communications, journalism. Are they older? Um, Morris, uh, CCM tends to be a traditional age population. We do have older students. We have students who start at CCM. We have students who go uh, to another college to decide to come to CCM to figure out which path they uh, need to take. And this is a wonderful opportunity for those students, both students who start at CCM and students from other institutions that transfer back. And we've been on, on your campus several times. Right. Talked to your president, right. uh, uh, Dr. Yaw, and others. Right. And it's, it's fascinating because I'm, I'm always curious about the transition from a two-year institution to a four-year institution. It's challenging, isn't it? It is challenging, and one of the things that we've seen, we've been at this for over 10 years now with these partnerships. Rutgers and has. Rutgers has, and what we saw was in the beginning, they were older students. They were students who were coming back, uh, and this was a way for them to finish their degree. We're now seeing younger students. I suspect part of it is the press of the economy, so this makes it a, a, a more affordable model, um, but the age uh, average has, has definitely dropped for, for our students who continue on with Rutgers. What's the advantage of staying on the campus? I mean, say, because Rutgers Newark is closer to County College of Morris, right. but New Brunswick is where it is, Camden is mm -hmm. where it is, but so I think to myself, okay, so say you had to go from County College of Morris down to Rutgers, Newark, or New Brunswick. Mm -hmm. Which is, you know, I went to Rutgers, New Brunswick, and it right. was a great experience mm -hmm. for me. Mm -hmm. But say someone, was, for a whole variety of reasons, it was more comfortable for them, it logistically made more sense to stay up in Morris County. Is that part of it? Well, I think you hit the key word, and that's comfort. Uh, they're comfortable with the services that we provide. They're comfortable with the faculty that are there. They're comfortable with the uh, facilities. Our largest classrooms tend to be 28. Mm. Our very largest classroom is 140 for science labs. So it's very small, it's on a people scale, and students and parents respond very well to that. Is there a correlation, do you find, in the work that you've done with the multiple uh, community colleges you've worked with, worked with, do you find there's a correlation, direct correlation, between the comfort level that a student has in terms of he or she saying, I'm comfortable here, I'm pursuing yes. my four-year degree at Rutgers, but I'm back in, in my comfort zone where I am, I think, and, and, and finishing one's degree. Yes, it, it's really interesting. I think comfort is part of it, affordability is another part of it, access is another part of it. So there were still some students, and especially with the younger students, who don't want to go to this massive university campus and get lost there. So as Dwight talked about, that, that personalization, that really helps. There are students who then uh, take advantage of the affordability aspect. They complete at the community college campus, and then they want to continue with a graduate degree, which they will go to campus. But they're for. paying Rutgers. They, they're paying right. Rutgers tuition, absolutely. But they're not paying room and board because they're they're typically. Well, that's commuting. interesting. You save yeah. a lot on that, absolutely. right? Absolutely, absolutely. So, so stay with me on this. So the student gets to be where they are. Right. They make the transition. Mm -hmm. They're, they've saved a lot in the first couple of years, right? right. Yeah. Our uh, full-time tuition is about $3,500. For and, what, and, and put things in perspective, what's the full-time tuition at Rutgers? Um, much more than that. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me, I know I was there. Uh, but, but I'm curious about this. In terms of your students, when you said graduate school. Yes. 
how do you leap to graduate school? Like a student is in a two-year situation, then you all of a sudden jump to graduate school. What's the connection there? Well, they complete their associate's degree, they complete their bachelor's degree with Rutgers. They get right. a Rutgers bachelor's degree, and, and then they're, they're on a roll. They're, they're really committed, and, and they're successful. You think there's a greater likelihood that they may go on for graduate school Absolutely. because of this experience? Absolutely. I think it's a, it's a great positive experience. Okay. And, and we've done a lot of research that shows our students at these off-campus sites, at the community colleges, right. perform just as well as our transfer students okay. who are on campus. Now, the president has proposed, President Obama, not President you all, President uh, Obama has <laughs> proposed this initiative regarding, um, you know, free, if you will, right. um, college for those going to, going to community colleges. But we have the New, New Jersey Stars program. Correct. Describe it for those who don't know. New Jersey Stars, if you're in the top 15% of your high school class in your junior and senior year, you receive uh, tuition for the first two years at a community college. So and to what degree are New Jersey students actually taking advantage of it? Uh, we're seeing a good number that are taking advantage of it throughout the state. Uh, it is a wonderful opportunity for students to start uh, without having to pay any tuition. As long as they maintain a grade point average, uh, a certain grade point average, they can move on. And also they can go to what is called NJ Stars 2, which is a stipend for uh, if a student wanted to transfer to Rutgers, they would be able to do that. So in some ways New Jersey is ahead of the curve nationally. Yes. On this whole yes, issue yes. uh, yes. of access. Ab right. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And, and uh, you know, the, the president's plan, President Obama's plan for a uh, proposal for, for two years of, of community college uh, supported, um, you know, may or may not fly uh, nationally, but it seems to be gaining traction at the state level. So, we, you know, right. New Jersey has hit this. It's not, it's not su such a big stretch for us to go beyond We've where been doing we are a lot now. Of this. Yes, yeah. we have. Dr. Smith, Dr. Novak, I want to thank you for joining us and the partnership that you're describing right now between Rutgers and County College of Morris in many ways is the model that uh, others across the country, I'm sure, are looking at. Thanks so much. Thank, thank you. you. Stay with us. It's normally one-on-one, -on -one, in this case, one-on-two. And I'll be right back uh, right after this. Thank you, gentlemen. One-on-one -on -one with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this edition of One-on-One -on -one with Steve Adubato has been provided by TD Bank, PSE&G, MagnaCare, Johnson & Johnson, New Jersey Sharing Network, the law firm of Gibbons PC, and by Verizon Communications. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.